Hi, and welcome back to Eaton's Health Pharmacy TV. In our productions, we show small segments of different services and products we offer. Compounding is a specialised service, and I'm here today watching how Marilyn, our compounding pharmacist, compounds a meprazole, or low sex suspension. It is easily our most popular requested product. It's not the most exciting product to watch uh, being compounded. Uh, however, we thought we'd add this one in simply because it is our most popular one and parents may want to know how it's made up. Obviously, they, the only time they see it is when they're giving it to their baby uh, or when they're picking it up from the pharmacy. Omeprazole or low-sex suspension is one of the most common compounding products we produce. While easy to make, it is quite time-consuming as there are a number of ingredients required to compound the suspension to make it palatable and stable. The process begins with weighing of the ingredients followed by sieving these into the beaker. This is done so the particles going into the mixture are small and will mix thoroughly. Following this, the mixing process takes approximately 30 minutes. Lysex suspension is used in infants under direction of the doctor for reflux. So if you'd like to contact us about uh, what we can compound and uh, the range of compounding products we do produce, uh, then please do not hesitate to call, message us. Uh, all our contact details are on our website, which is www.eatonshillpharmacy.com.au. We, we are also on Facebook. You can find us there just searching for Eaton's Hill Pharmacy once again. So um, just then Marilyn has added in some flavouring, uh, in this case Tutti Frutti. Uh, if it wasn't for the flavouring, the mixture would simply be unpalatable and uh, it comes in a variety of different flavours, um, just depending on uh, what the mum prefers and what the, what the infant can tolerate. So the mixture has been on the magnetic stirrer for approximately 30 minutes now. So what Marilyn will do is she'll basically pour the mixture into the bottle, um, firstly using the sieve once again. What the sieve does is filters out any clumps. Uh, the last thing you want is clumps of medication and powder inside the actual suspension as that will, re will remain there no matter how much you mix it or shake it. If we have any parents watching, it is very important that omeprazole is kept in the fridge away from light. Inevitably, it will start to lose potency after about two weeks, but keeping it in the fridge and away from light will certainly uh, increase the longevity of the suspension. What Marilyn has done now is attach a specialised adapter cap to the bottle, allowing for easy dosing with a syringe.